Now I'm not planning on doing this very often, but I'm going to skip ahead to, uh, we're at step one, I'm going to skip ahead to step two. And the reason being is, I want to install these bulkheads uh, to help reinforce this. Because when I put the elastic bands around, it is going to, well mind you, this is very, very stiff. Well, I better play it safe. It's going to be one goes here, one goes here, and the other one goes over here. So, mainly the one in the center is going to be the important one. Yeah. When the elastic bands go around, they'll just help a little bit. So obviously we need sprue W, but you know, I'd have to be pretty uh, inept not to be able to figure that out. I mean, they're, they're so obvious. Okay, so clearly this is the center one, but I'm wondering if uh, if number one and number two here, like there, that says one and there's two, I wonder if they're the same size, or if they're, they're a different size. Are oh, they a different size? Well, then a person probably can't go wrong. Anyway, this one here is number two. Now, this appears to be a mirror image. So, I don't think it matters which way it goes. I don't think it matters if it goes this way or this way. There's nothing in the instructions to indicate anything. So... I'm just wondering if maybe it might be a good idea not to glue them in. I'll just sort of put them in place here just enough. Mind you, they're, they're pretty tight. It could well be, if I try to pull this out again later, What's going to happen is that the uh, little post is going to break off. Anyway, all I wanted to do is just hold it so that the elastic bands will... In fact, I can feel that's a lot stronger. Okay, well I'm sure you got the idea. I already put the one in the stern. I'm going to do the same on the bow. I'm not going to shove it in all the way down. Put it in place there and I'll worry about gluing it later. Okay. About two years ago now, when I was visiting Mom in Kelowna, and this was when we were still going out for coffee and stuff like that, and she was in still pretty good shape, and I had mentioned I'm going to pick up some rubber bands. I, I don't know why I thought I'd buy them there. We went to pick as them too, but Anyway, uh, I, I mentioned it, and so she stopped in at the little thrift store on the way home from coffee, and I, I didn't pay too much attention to what she was doing, and when we got back to her place, and she hands me this package, and here's these rubber bands that I've been talking about getting. So I, I kind of feel uh, a little bit you might say, not wanting to use them up, if you know what I mean, but on the other hand, that's kind of silly, I know that. She would want me to use them up. Can't make a shrine out of everything, I guess, eh? Anyway, I'm just going to use the lighter ones here. Oh, I did go on the internet. And I couldn't really find anything conclusive. All the video and pictures I got to see were very fuzzy. I don't know why that was why it was that way because in the uh, when this boat was launched, Germany was noted for having really good cameras. So that's kind of kind of strange. Anyway, I think you can see what I'm trying to do here. I'm going to have to adjust my rubber bands. This is just going to take a few minutes here. 
Now this system with the rubber bands is going to work quite well. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little line molded in the hole there. And you just make sure you've got it lined up with that all the way along. You can tell exactly where it's supposed to go. Yeah, this, uh, glad I thought of this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tack weld the ends here, get them in place. And because the end seems to want to lift up just a little bit from the hull, I'm going to help it along here with the hairdryer. Yeah, now do the same thing on the other end. This will guarantee a nice tight fit. Yeah, nothing's going to catch on that. Okay, now I'll just go all the way along and hope that it wicks its way in the right place here. Now you all would have laughed yourself sick if you had a seen me jump when I accidentally touched the one that used to be right here. It instantly popped. <laughs> Good thing I didn't spill my solvent. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and carefully turn this on its side so I can drop the glue in, you know, on the other side, side of the seam. And then I'm going to do the other stabilizing fin exactly the same way. Right now might be a good time to mention what I'm planning on doing in this series, and that is this. As I did just now, there was two stabilizing fins. I showed one. I'm not going to show doing the second one. In a lot of instances, there's as much as four or more of the same thing. I'll do the first one, and then I'll say something like, well, I'll do the next three exactly the same way. If I try to video every single little piece, this is going to go on for years. Well, maybe not years, but it's just going to be tedious for everybody. So I'll show what I can, and uh, yeah, you'll just have to guess at the rest. Well, I only lost one rubber band. That was pretty good. I know that in time these do dry out. I don't know why they do, but they do. You'll notice I put a piece of cloth down here now. Uh, the idea of that is so that when I'm sliding the hull around or, you know, I'm not going to be, uh, you know, scratching it any worse than it probably already is. I, I do realize that I've got a lot of sanding to do, like get rid of this seam. I've got to maybe take a little bit of, uh, you know, like 600 grit or 1000 grit in here and just sort of, although maybe that would cover it by paint anyway, I don't know. These are not too bad. I What I had to do was... In places where it wasn't, you know, uh, where the seam was not touching, the uh, the hull was not touching the fin, I had to put a little bit of glue on, hold it with my fingers, and then apply heat with the hair dryer. And that system worked really good. I don't remember ever doing that before. Uh, I guess I never thought of it before. Anyway, there is something here that I'm a little bit worried about, and, and that is that... I know yesterday I said I'd, I'm kind of worried about breaking the post off. I meant breaking the peg off, the little peg that goes down into the hole, if I was to get it in there and then have to try and remove it. So I think I'm going to take these out, and uh, I don't know if I should drill the hole out. See, my, my thinking is that, you know, if, 
if I get it down in there and then have to readjust it and try and pull it out, I don't want to be, you know, like I say, it, it could break off that, uh, that uh, post, I mean the peg. And, uh, okay, so I think I'm going to just take some sandpaper and, and just uh, make these just a little bit smaller. It's going to be glued in later anyway. It doesn't matter if it's a loose fit. Because uh, maybe I'm going to be trying to get it all the way down so that, so that it seats properly. And uh, it just could run into problems. I know I'm using a lot of words to describe a very simple thing. Now we still have to finish step one that we started the day before yesterday. Well, we got these glued on. Today I'd like to have this piece glued on. And as I mentioned before, I was really concerned about these because I was thinking that there's a chance that I could break them off when handling the hull. And, and there really is, there's a distinct chance. But then I was looking at the way these are going to go in, the rudders that is, and it looks like they can possibly be put in, painted, and then pulled back out. We'll try that later. Uh, I'm definitely not going to put the uh, propellers on uh, because uh, they're, they're, they're going to be painted a different color so they look like bronze or brass and uh, it'll be a lot easier to paint them separately and then stick them on the end of the shafts. Uh, there are these little pieces right here, the ones called D36 and 35. Uh, they could be broken off, but I'm thinking that if I put the shaft through into these parts here, E36 and 35, uh, it, it should be fairly strong. Uh, anyway, that that's later on today. However, when I turn this uh, hull upside down, I, I have been putting it on the edge of a cardboard box, but I'm thinking, uh, well, first of all, if I turn it upside down, it's going to be... Uh, supported only by the uh, bow and the stern and the bow has some delicate little places on it so I'm thinking why don't I just have something like this okay put one like that one like this and then when I turn it upside down I don't think the bow and stern are going to be touching I have to move this one closer to the stern. Okay. Now the bow and the stern are up. They are not touching the uh, model table. So I can work on this. Put a little pressure here and there and... Yeah, that works alright. Now those weren't on very tight. We are at the moment of truth and this is actually the first time I've tried this so I think it's okay here. Looks like it's sealed all the way really well on the inside there I would think. And here we go. seems to be pretty good. I guess I better think about how am I going to hold this down. It fits nice at the seam. It fits pretty nice there. I I could use a couple of elastic bands.
Well, I know I didn't show you me gluing it because I wanted to be able to concentrate on what I was doing. But it's glued in place here. Alright, that's the bow piece done. Now let's work on the stern. We need E35 and 36. Here they are, 35, 36. And we need D35 and 36. And here they are right here. There's 36 and here's 35. So it's these two pieces. They're pretty obvious actually. Now I am noticing here these ones are just barely hanging on here, so I don't want to have it break off and take part of the part with it, so I'm going to have to be really careful here. Okay, now I'll use my new nippers to trim those off properly, and maybe a hobby knife. Very, very carefully here. I was going to put these sprues back into their little plastic bags, and uh, then I realized I didn't get the rudders yet, so D37 and 38, well, that's pretty obvious. There's 37 and there's 38. Now I have to say I'm quite pleased with these nippers. I did a nice job. I'm thinking that if I'm smart I better wind up episode 35 here today and get it uploading onto YouTube so that you can see it yet tonight. Yeah, and tomorrow we'll glue on some more plastic parts, but not the rudders. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.